Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I had a little time to film and I thought I would do a couple of things. First of all, I'll talk about some new things that I purchased and what I'm thinking of them. I picked up, I don't know, quite a few new things I would say. Mostly makeup items, but I am going to talk about them. And then Neiman Marcus Beauty Week is starting this week, so I thought I would give you a look at the bags and tell you what's in them and that kind of thing. So let's jump in and get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is a couple things that are not from Neiman Marcus. We'll start there. So I picked up the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. Um, was there any doubt in anybody's mind that I was going to get this? You guys know I love a nice neutral eye palette. Um, I've only ever owned one Natasha Denona palette and it was one of the small ones. I haven't invested in the big ones. I really like the texture of her shadows. I think they're beautiful. I did pick mine up at Beautylish before the Sephora VIB sale, so I did not get a discount on it. However, I love this palette. It's just a beautiful, stuck my finger in it, there you go, neutral. It's very neutral. It doesn't, it's very neutral. It doesn't lean super warm, but it's a nice everyday palette. Um, there's five shadows in here. One of them has a little bit, this is the one that I don't use as much as the rest of them, just because it's a little more, to me, chunky. Um, this has a bit of sheen to it as well, but more satiny, very, very wearable. So if you like a neutral eye palette, I highly recommend this one, it's beautiful. The texture of the shadows is quite nice. I think one of the things, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swatch, these are the mattes. One of the things that's nice about this is the mattes are really pretty. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see them because they're very, there. That's just like one swatch of my finger. Very, very nice. I do think, there's been a lot of discussion about whether these two are different enough. I think they are. Um, I do find I use these two very differently. This dark one is nice. It's not super dark. So if you if you like a pa palette with something that you could use as a super dark outer corner, this isn't it. But this is great for an everyday eye look. I'm not wearing this today. I'm wearing something else I purchased and that I'm loving as well. But I did want to talk about this because it's a really nice palette. Her palettes are a little more expensive. Hold on, my dog is... Sorry about that, Clara. The Our most recent rescue, we rescued her in... January. She's nervous when it rains and so she's trying to find a corner to hide in and she kind of digs at the carpet which makes me nuts. Anyway, if you're looking for a really nice neutral eye palette, these like I said are a little bit more expensive. They're $48 but you do get a lot of product in here. You know and a Tom Ford quad is 80 something at this point and Chanel is 60 something so I think the price point for a luxury item is probably right where it should be. Uh, I will. I thought I would also talk about um, the Sephora VIB sale. I okay. First of all, I'm not a rouge anymore because I don't buy that much makeup anymore. So um, mine was only 15%, which is not a lot. It is something. So the only thing um, I ordered two things. My order is not here yet, but the, I thought I would talk about what I ordered. The first one was a refill of my Elizabeth and James Bourbon Nirvana, Nirvana Bourbon. Nirvana Bourbon. Mine is totally empty. I love, this is an, a signature fragrance for me. I've talked about this before. I love this. This is the 1.7, correct? Yes, I bought the, the bigger one this time uh, with my Sephora VIB discount. So I purchased that. And the only other thing that I ordered and is still on its way is the new NARS mascara. So I have not received that. When it comes, I will show you and tell you what I think about that. So that's all I bought in the Sephora. That's all I ordered in the Sephora VIB. Um, I did pick up some new things um, at Neiman Marcus, which you can also buy other places. So I thought about, I would talk about them as well. The first thing is this lip. You guys aren't used to seeing me in a little bit bolder of a lip, but I have been really working outside my comfort zone and wearing more color on my lips and this I love I bought two so this is one of the new Tom Ford um, lipsticks this is um, what are these lipsticks called these are the matte satin mattes so it is very much like a matte looks much more like a matte than anything I think 
but it's really comfortable. It doesn't get dry. It doesn't make the lips feel dry. I don't find that I need a lip liner with this and it doesn't seem to go outside my lips. And these things wear really nicely. For me, I could put it on in the morning. I won't have to put it on again until after I eat. Even if I'm having coffee or talking a lot, I find that they stay really nicely, but they don't, they don't end up looking sort of all dry and gross when they're wearing off. So I really like that. This is the color Modern Love. Like I said, it's what I have on my lips, which is a warm, I would call it a warm red. There it is. It's very wearable. I like a warm red. It makes my blue eyes bluer. So I love this. I wear it a lot, a lot. And then I wanted another one of these because they're so comfortable. I tried on all of the nudes. I wasn't a fan of those colors on me. There wasn't anything. I need a little warmth in my nude. I didn't find they had anything like that. So because they wear so nicely, I went out on a limb and bought another colorful one, which I like. Um, this is more of a bright pinky. There it is. They're very lightweight. I like this too. My husband is not a fan, so I don't wear it so much at home, but I wear it a lot at work. Um, and this is in the color. It's this one right here. So you guys know Tom Ford, and he names his stuff Crazy Names. Um, and I'm not crazy about the name of this, but I do like the color. So this is um, Pussy Power. I'm going to call it Girl Power because, you know, I don't like that word as much, but, you know, I do like the color. So if you guys are a fan of a matte lip, but you want it to feel lightweight and not creasy in your lips, this formula is amazing. And I do think it's permanent. So I got a couple of those and I'm loving them. Um, I looked at a real red. Quite frankly, there was five or six of them I could have bought. Love them. Okay, what else did I buy? Lipstick. We'll stick with lips. Um, I bought a Clay de Peau lipstick. Again, a little bit high-end. This is more in the color you guys are used to seeing me in. This is Lotus Flower. Is that what this is? This is Lotus Flower. I like these as well. So again, this is a nice um, pretty coral right here. This lipstick is um, very nourishing on the lips, but still wears really nicely. The packaging is pretty as well. So there's that. Um, what else? And I got one Chanel as well. So she, these are the crayons, the lip crayons that Chanel has done, I don't know, maybe for a year or so now. They did a matte version. So matte, for those of you who haven't been watching or reading or whatever, um, all, fall is all about mattes, matte eyes, matte lips, matte, matte, matte. So Chanel is also getting on board with that. Um, and they did a group of these lip crayons in matte shades. They are really nice. They wear really well. They feel good on the lips. I like these because you don't necessarily have to wear a pencil either. This is the nudist of them. This is in 257 Discretion. It's a warm nude. Well, here, we'll just put it by these crazy ones. And it's very much my shade. It's right here. It's sort of a peachy nude. Um, this comes in, I think, five colors, this matte version. Very, very nice on the lips. Really love. Love these. Uh, they're called lip crayons. Is that what we call them? Jumbo lip crayons. Love them. They are a long wear, but they don't feel dry on the lips either. This is the nude. There's a couple of reds. A deep plum, I think. Really, really pretty. Um, Chanel also did some eye pencils in the mattes as well that are really nice. There's like um, a navy and a black and one that they call, what is that middle one? It's um, contour. It's like a contour pencil, but you can wear it all over the eye or you could do your crease with it. They're amazing. They're long wear as well. The other thing I picked up was a couple of Mark Jacobs shadows. So Mark Jacobs, okay. Mark Sorry. Jacobs came out with some singles, eyeshadow singles finally. And I have to say, I am so impressed by the formula of these shadows. These are probably some of the nicest singles out there in my opinion. I bought two of them. Um, first of all, you get a ton of product in here. Mm, must be on the box because it doesn't say. It's a big, big single. It has a mirror in it. They don't come with um, 
applicators or anything, but that's fine for me. I bought two of them. I bought the semi-matte cream color and I bought the matte, one of the matte browns. So this is Perfecto and this is the Big O and I'm wearing these today. So I have this all over my lid and I have this going into my crease and then I just have um, um, an eyeliner pencil kind of blended into the corner. So this is all that's kind of on my eye there. I love them. First of all, for matte shadows, this one I would call, yeah, it's a matte. I mean, look at that. And then this one, this sort of beigey transition sh shadow, they feel, um, they feel crazy. They feel crazy creamy. There you go. See how much pigmentation is in them? They came out in, I don't know, maybe 15 colors or something like that. Quite frankly, I think they're all amazing. There's some unique shadows. These are big. They come already in a case. I think they're $28 for, I mean, this is a lot of shadow. I don't know why it doesn't tell me how much, it must be on the box and I didn't save my box, but there is a lot of shadow in there if you look at how big that pan is. These are really nice. If you like to work with singles or you're looking for a specific single, like I bought them because this is great as a base shadow all the time all over the lid and this is great as a transition shadow all the time all over the lid. When I'm using a palette that maybe doesn't have these in it, this is great on the brow bone too. I have it there. So I love these. Um, and again, it comes in so many shades and they're you know less than $30. They're amazing. So kudos to Marc Jacobs for that. Okay, I think I'm looking, that's all I wanted to talk about today, but I was going to talk about Beauty Event, which starts September 4th, goes through the 16th at Neiman Marcus. Um, many of you have bought from me for this Beauty Event before, so I thought I would share with you. You guys like when I share. So okay, so stuff. as is usual, you get, with a $125 purchase, uh, you get one of the tote bags, and I'm going to show you the bags, and then you get kind of some goodies in there so we'll start with that so you get a choice of three different bag colors depending on um, kind of where what you like they're just big I'll try to show you they're just big tote bags the usual of course. so they come in this um, it's a dark blue I would not call this navy this is somewhere between blue and teal somewhere between navy and teal there's a silver one which I kind of like it's nice and silver. And there's one that's supposed to be a rose gold. I don't know if I think it's rose gold or peachy gold. More peachy gold, I would say. But they are big. Let me put these other two down. They're big. It's a big, nice big tote bag. Okay, let's try bottom. again, shall we? Real life. So they're big. They have a nice big bottom on them. It's kind of more of a square tote. Um, but you know, it's kind of like a shopper comes out like that. They're nice. They don't have pockets or anything, but the construction is is pretty nice. You know, I like these for taking stuff out on my boat so I don't have to worry about it or taking to the farmer's market or whatever. Use it however you want. You know, it's a tote bag. It's free. It is what it is. And then you get some great samples this time. Let me show you what's in here. I haven't even opened this packet yet. How about that? So you get a La Mer... Uh, a sample of the soft fluid foundation and the soft cream from La Mer, which are both very nice. You get, this is the one thing I'm very excited about, you get a Revive Glycolic Peel. So this comes with this side, for you have, those of you who haven't tried the Revive um, Glycolic Peel, it's a pad, so one side is a pad and you put it on and kind of exfoliate a little bit and then you put this on which is like a straight glycolic and you let that sit for five, ten minutes if you can make it and then you rinse it off and it's amazing. So this is amazing. There is a huge Molten Brown Deluxe, um, look, this is the Pink Pepper, this is a shower gel. For those of you who haven't tried Molten Brown, it's an amazing, um, amazing line used in Buckingham Palace. It's got the little Queen's um, logo on it because it's used there. You get a Kiehl's retexturizing serum. This is really great. Nice deluxe size sample. There's good stuff in it this time. Sicily hair mask. Oh my gosh, this is the bomb. It's this from Clay de Poe. You get some of the intensive fortifying cream, which is nice. You get a Jo Malone sample. Let's see what it is. 
Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. My guess is the Jo Malones will vary by bag, I'm, gu I'm guessing, because sometimes they do that. And then this is a sample of what? Oh, this is the essence, so your facial essence from Amori Pacific, which this is um, their newest version and it's really nice. I'm actually testing a deluxe sample of that now and I'm loving it. I use it every day. So all of this comes in the bag, all these great samples come in the bag with your 125 purchase. So if there's anything you need from Nima Marcus, I mean, we have lots and lots of brands, many that most of you don't know. Marc Jacobs is sold at Nima Marcus as well. Um, I'm happy to uh, help you with your sale and ship this out to you. We always ship free, returns are free. That's with 125. If you spend, I think it's 350, you get the step up, which um, is a mini brush set with this little case. We'll just call it that. The brushes, I haven't honestly looked at them. I'm probably not the person to look at them. My brush crazy fanaticism that I have. Um, but if you need a travel set of brushes, wow, they're soft. I will say that. This is like a foundation brush, super soft. So I would say you could probably travel with that. Super, super soft. Or if you're looking for a good brush for um, your masks, cream masks are great to put on with the brush. This is just a little fluffy brush. You could do blush with it, um, powder. It's They're super soft. It's small. You could do highlighter or whatever with it. I will say they're very soft. Um, and then this is like a little shadow brush, maybe concealer brush. Again, um, I'm impressed by how soft they are. So that's a good sign if you spend, I think it's it's either 300 or 350. I'll put that information here. You get this as well as the big bag um, for free as well. And it comes in a little travel case. Um, also, many, many of the beauty brands have gifts with purchase as well. La Mer has a great one with a $300 purchase with a step up if, the, if you spend $500. Laura Mercier has a really cute one at a $125 spend. Tatcha Harper has a really cute one at $200. Um, I'm going to show the Chantecai one because I got to bring it home and it is so cute. So if you're a Chantecai user or want to be a Chantecai user, this Chantecai um, gift is with a 350 purchase, um, but it is well worth it. So you get this really cute um, makeup bag for travel with the elephant on it. You know Chantecai is all about their um, causes and the cause with some of the new things this year is um, they're supporting this um, group that helps make sure that the elephants do not become extinct. So you get this beautiful purple bag, which I love. It has a zipper and it opens, you know, it opens and kind of sits open, which I love. If you travel, this is great because it'll sit on your case open. Great. And then it has some goodies in it as well. What does it come with? It comes with a stress repair eye concentrate, and this is a good size sample. It's going to last a while. It comes with, ooh, gold recovery mask. This is their new mask for nighttime. This mask is awesome. If you are a user of their gold line or have never tried it, this is amazing. And then it also comes with um, their anti-pollution essence, which um, here's what I have to say about this anti-pollution stuff. It is becoming very, very um, important to do that. So this is sort of like a finisher and many many of the brands are now incorporating this anti-pollution into the into the skincare um, and Chantecai was one of the first ones I saw to do this this has been around a little while pollution is one of the things that ages our skin so so much um, and you know people think oh pollution pollution the air isn't bad but this is about all kinds of pollution the mo majority of the pollution we get that affects our skin, I think, comes from indoor lighting and all the blue light we get from using devices like this and sitting in front of a computer and sitting in front of a TV. And so it is so, so important to protect your skin from that. And if you don't know about it, go read about it. You'll be shocked at what it does. So this is the Chantecai gift with the 350 purchase. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Chantecai line as well. Um, if you're looking for how to spend that 350, I can tell you like the neck cream is a must own. They've got 
their eyeshadows are amazing. They've got some new ones. They've got new lipsticks. I haven't purchased one yet, but they're amazing, and they come in beautiful packaging with the elephant on them. Um, I love the gold line, the gold roller for under the eyes. I love the gold eye patches from them. They're, I, and it's a very, very clean line, all cruelty-free for those of you who, um, you know, are cruelty-free. Their line is very, is a cru all cruelty free, but very, very effective. So, love it. So that is the Shantika gift. Many of the other brands have them as well. If you have a question about a brand you love, do they have a gift? Just ask me in the notes below. I'm happy to respond, or I always have my phone number in the notes as well. Again, that starts um, September 4th. I think that's today. I think this is going up on September 4th. Um, and it goes on till the 16th. The gifts are while they last. The bags will probably last. Sometimes the brand gifts don't last as long because um, they're very popular, of course. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys found this helpful. I am going to do um, another video very shortly talking about some of my most recent favorites because I've got some new and fun favorites that I thought I would share with you as well. But um, that's it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all again soon.